the Colum Tyrrell podcast. We're cooking and Rihanna is fat as fuck. What happened to that bitch, huh? <laughs> Lizzo, watch out. Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna <laughs> needs to eat a banana. <laughs> Yeah, she's tubby. Did you see that? She got a bun in the oven. She she is a yeah, she's a big fat hoe nowadays, guys, huh? <laughs> Thick is in. I'm telling you, that's not healthy to have a belly like that. This is the thing. When are we gonna mm. stop with this body positivity uh, movement? She wobbles out, looking like the red M M&M, and M, right? <laughs> <laughs> and she got big belly. She got fake tits on her, plastic tits, unrealistic body. She kind of does look like one of those, uh, the kids in the uh, Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. She ate the wrong thing and then she ballooned up, you remember? Yeah, she went violet. Yeah, here's some songs that we kind of liked when we were teenagers, but to, to be honest, it was just like, it was just on. There was a generation of people of music where it was like, w did we like that or was it just on? <laughs> I think the, that's like the biggest thing. When you start to look at all these old successful people do, like Elvis, and there was just like, it, that was just what was on. There was a time when you would, First of all, there was a time when cars didn't even have radios. So every time you got in the car, there was no radio. Yeah. You would just have to whistle like, there's something in my front pocket <laughs> for you. <laughs> I'm not letting, I'm not letting the colors in the school. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got our places to live. <laughs> Separate like, but equal. They go, Ooh, I, I found a lemon on my way to the rally. <laughs> <laughs> so, just this old school American <laughs> whistling my way through uh, the civil rights movement. <laughs> Going to house a black guy today. <laughs> Gonna bomb a bus on my way. <laughs> <laughs> teaching my son, teaching my son to make a cross today. <laughs> Why don't you get out here and you teach your son how to make a cross? <laughs> Well, that good. My son's queer. <laughs> Goddamn son, don't know how to make cross. <laughs> so that's like that's like actually a heartwarming story. That's like a, a Hollywood story we need, right? Where it's like some kid, he's a down and out fuck up. Mm -hmm. Parents never loved them, junkies or whatever. You know, he's lost in the world. St stumbles across a local guy who is a clan member, <laughs> and then one day he sees the kid and like he's like, I'm, I ain't no. I ain't your pa. And he's like, oh, you know, he's like rough around the edges. But after a while, he starts to notice him. He sees a little bit of himself in the kid. Mm. And then he's, the kid's like trying to make a cross. <laughs> and he's like, that's not how you hold no goddamn drill. Who taught you this? Your Yo, son, let me show you. Yeah, let me show you how you make a cross. You're doing it all wrong. Why, that, that cross will fall <laughs> down in 20 minutes. That won't scare no. That won't scare no ghost down here now, boy. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no. <laughs> ain't no, boy. <laughs> boy, you're cutting up those sheets all around there, boy. <laughs> Let me show you. And then they, you know, but it's like actually a heartwarming movie about a uh, mm. about some orphan kid. And then one day, the kid, the father, like the the new father figure, comes out. like, I'm gonna adopt you, boy. And they're like, Oh, <laughs> oh daddy, yeah. I love you. I love you, boy. Yeah, I love you, daddy. <laughs> I might not be your father, but I'm your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we, from uh, <laughs> if we call it from rags to rags. <laughs> Because they put on like sheets over their head, you know, <laughs> something like that between the sheets, something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm spitballing here. Idea, yeah. All I'm saying is, uh, you know, uh, we found love in a hopeless place. <laughs> and that's the theme song. We found it. Rihanna, buy it. She's pregnant. She needs some fucking, <laughs> she needs some money. She might actually just be fat now that you said it. Like, she's a tubby. Fu uh, yeah, she's a tubby cunt. Yeah. <laughs> She waddled, <laughs> she waddled her fat ass out there. Here's the thing, right? Um, the half halftime show, I watch it every year, um, and it does give me great joy just to fucking kind of hate him. Mm -hmm. um, what are you doing there, David, by the way? Just out of curiosity. Me? Yeah. It's just like you're, you're focusing on the c computer, but you don't have it on the screen for the people to watch at home. It just doesn't seem the right way to do it. I was going to try to get one. It's fine. Yeah, it's just, it's just odd. It's just an odd technique. <laughs> of searching things and then just like leaving it to yourself. It's a lot of pressure being a Google dude. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. It seems hard. <laughs> I guess it's hard. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> um, here's the thing. He's like, but everyone was like, wow, look at Rihanna. She did an okay job while pregnant. Isn't that impressive? No. 
No. Pay me $12 million to fucking waddle my fucking fat ass and mime a song that someone else wrote. I can do that. So it's not even good music. Is it? <laughs> no. What was our best song? Our best song used to be, Mama, turn Mr. DJ Pond on the repay. Come Mr. DJ. She got Papa D, that my name's Rihanna. She got a Papa D, but a Chris Brown beat me up. <laughs> that was what we should have seen. A collab with Chris Brown. I want the Chris Brown to come around and fucking karate chop her in the head and then say, all right, <laughs> round two, redemption. Round two, bitch. Yeah, yeah. it's like a UFC event. It's Celebrity like of, death match. It's like one of those original. Remember UFC used to fucking advertise? There used to be a thing back in the day when the, the UFC would advertise. There, there was like pre-numbers, right? They used to do this like with PlayStation games too. It would be like, they would just call it like NBA, and then it was like NBA one or whatever. And yeah, then they were like volume one. You know, I think it was like Tiger. It used to be like Tiger Woods one, Tiger Woods two, and then they had to like just change it to like numbers, like the right. year, because I was like, this is never gonna end. Right. But they used to do that with UFC. They, they two people would fight in an MMA, and they would call it something. It would like call, call, it would be called like UFC, the payback. Oh yeah, like it the was, thrill in Manila. Yeah, yeah. Shit, yeah. It was yeah. always called UFC. Thunderfuck, and and then and but then they they ran out of words. There was like it used to be like a UFC Redemption again, <laughs> payback. Yeah, payback. One more, one another payback. Payback, but not fully reimbursed. Yeah. So um, uh, and I don't even remember that. That's like back it. when they used to wear like fucking shoes and shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The they one would guy with shoes, and one guy with like a whole yeah. Nice there, there, there was a guy showed up, and he's like, "Yeah, it was, it was, it was called fucking." Ken it was called. Uh, they all had different styles, you know. Some guy, some mm -hmm. idiot would show up with with kung fu, and he would like he would try <laughs> to do. He, he would do a monkey, you know, and then the other guy would be like a black belt in bar fights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a broken bottle in his. Yeah, head. he was he was wearing jeans and a sleeveless shirt, <laughs> <laughs> thong sandals. Yeah, he had an ACDC sleeveless shirt on. <laughs> Comes out the Jimmy Buffett, <laughs> <laughs> swung at Timberland at the guy's head. Like, <laughs> he looked. What's up, about Smash <laughs> <dirt>, dirty fighting. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Just Delco dirty fighting. <laughs> it made you look fucker. Yeah, dude. Go, what the fuck? What is that? Honestly, no, it's behind you. I swear to God. I swear to God. Look behind you. Look behind you. Yes! Oh, no. He hit him with the go birds. The no! fucking, there was a time when they didn't even have hook. The hooking was fine. Remember that you could just fucking fish hook someone until you came, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that was nuts. Fish hooking. Can we get a video? Yeah, yeah. I want to see if I want to see a good fish hook. They were like eye gouging too. Like fucking. Yeah, yeah. Just ruthless stuff. Videos of fish hook now. I don't, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll look at that another time. Yeah, but it would have been funny. Yeah, Chris Brown came up. So, but this is the oh, thing. Shit. So she gets paid millions of dollars, right? And I guess there was supposed to be like, a, I guess they were going for like a feminist empowerment. Like, look, pregnant bitches can do a bad job too, you know? Because mm. um, first of all, also a lot of people were angry. There was no guests. I like that. That's boss. That they didn't bring out like another artist. Yeah, it got too much lately where it was like one guy was booked and then there'd be four other idiots. Yeah. Um, and there's also a thing about the Super Bowl. You can't just, ha you couldn't have someone like Lizzo on stage. Um, why, why do you think that? Should do a break. <laughs> <laughs> the crane would topple. <laughs> <laughs> How good would that be if there was a technical disaster like a, like a, when when Rihanna was being lowered in like it, it broke <laughs> yeah one of the things and she's snapped. like yeah she's just like hanging there upside down like one of those Mexicans at the fucking Empire State <laughs> Building the, one of those cleaners every now and again every now and again one of those people that clean the windows that breaks and they just have to hang there going hello <laughs> You're not gonna I'd like to get that down please hello <laughs> they just hanging up there <laughs> they're, they're, they're still cleaning by the way they're still like oh no we're not gonna get this done <laughs> oh, I better get overtime oh god we're not get this no. <laughs> no, no. Oh no, no, me clean, me clean. Yeah, the guy comes up in the uh, the elevator. Uh, the, fucking, the guy comes up in the fire truck to get him. Look at these guys spinning around. Yeah, yeah. that would been react. That oh no. And meanwhile, he's still like every time he gets oh, close, no. he wipes it. Goes every time he gets close, he goes. <laughs> he gets one more streak in. Dude. No, we work. We work. No, no, we work. This we happens work. all the time. It was just one of them will snap. It's worse when one of them snaps and they're just hanging there. That's scary. They're just strong. hanging there waiting to die. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen the thing where the woman gets rescued like out of a canyon in like a helicopter? They put her in a stretcher oh, and the helicopter and, and it just takes like a left turn and the body yeah, just starts yeah. fucking propelling. The G-force just sent her into another <laughs> life form. Dude, she's like, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she comes back. <laughs> I've lived a thousand lifetimes. She goes into <laughs> 
<laughs> Spin into the quantum realm, she dude. Goes, the Chiefs by three. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she comes out. Just Alphonse will lose five hundred dollars on Fanduel. Ah, <laughs> oh, you lost five hundred. Nah, anyway, nah, so Rihanna. Please. Look, they waddled Rihanna's pregnant ass out there, right? And it wasn't <laughs> impressive, right? Um, yeah, yeah. It wasn't impressive. Underwhelming. Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, but again, like, look, you can't have the way it works with the Super Bowl halftime shows. They can't have modern good acts. Kind of, like, it's it needs to be a kind of needs to be a, like a legend of the thing. Well, that's what it used to be. It, right? It's got to be legends. It's got to be like Christina yeah. Aguilera. These kind of cons come out. It's, it can't just be like whoever's the new person. You know? Yeah. Like if they threw Harry Styles out there, I'd be like, the fuck we do. He could do a drop in. Bad Bunny could fucking go do the macarena or whatever the fuck music he makes right. but, you know um, baby making music yeah but funny if you watch the old halftime shows it used to be just a marching band it used to just be welcome yeah. to the stage the wisconsin high school marching band and they go do 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 and it was like just a good old fashioned american time yeah God support support the troops. This was before the, the military showed up and started fucking advertising all that shit. Recruitment um, numbers were low. And, then, and so it used to just be marching bands, bullshit. Right. And then For the first 20 years. And then MJ showed up. 93, they put MJ up there. Michael Jackson? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Michael Jordan did the halftime show just fucking <laughs> just dunk dunking, yeah, dude. just dunking. Just free throw line dunks, <laughs> like layups. Michael Jackson did the halftime show and he was the one who showed up and he uh, he changed it all. We don't. Need to, yeah. That's the yeah, yeah. He was the first one to ever do like a proper big show. Before that, there was like Garrett Brooks and his guitar, and they were like, "Oh, this is a big act." And he was the first one to ever actually make it like, which is the nothing concert, com compared yeah. to nowadays. This is nothing compared to yet. Look, dude, he's just standing on a vent. What's he doing? <laughs> It's just noses in Rosie, just <laughs> up in the bleachers. Someone gets a fucking nose to the head. <laughs> he just has a shaved off nose. It flies off. Did you see that? Me and Dave did a show the other night. Did you see the woman with no nose? No. You never saw the woman with no nose? No. Half or no? Completely. No nose. Whoa. No arms. Voldemort? No arms, no nose. <laughs> no arms. No nose. That's because I'm going to do my no nose. I got no nose. <laughs> what happened? What do you reckon happened? Do you reckon someone planted a grenade up her nose and then she went to grab it? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Where were you at, dude? She probably deviated her septum. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't coked up. No, nah, it, was, it, was, it was sad. But it was, it was, I was, it was. Because she's an Afghan. Uh, I, would, I, I would probably say, um, you know. Planned Parenthood gone wrong. <laughs> if I was to guess, I'd say that was a that was a birth defect. That yeah. was a a co hook, uh, yeah, scraping hanger. where they pulled that a little bit of mush out and went. Yeah, I think we got it. And then it was that, and then next <laughs> nine letter, months later, nine, nine months later, yeah, the fat yeah. woman took a shit and it a was very, a baby. No, an armless, top heady, nodeless, noseless thing. <laughs> anyway, shout out to you. <laughs> yeah, right, big fan probably. <laughs> 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 also, can you, you, should, you should, listen? People who don't have an eye, they wear an eye patch. <laughs> I think if you if we can see into your fucking skull, maybe a Groucho Marx fucking thing going on there. Like, yeah, put you on need the, the Groucho glasses. You need the Groucho glasses in the face. No, I'm just saying. I'm not. Look, n n fucking. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera did something. <laughs> they all <laughs> he hid in the towers. <laughs> the Boardwalk Empire got dude, fucking painted, dude. There's a, there's a sort of a thing going on here. Oh, <laughs> Prosthetic noses. Just even get one of those Rudolph fucking noses over your little red fucking <laughs> little clown nose. Little snap on, you know. <laughs> surely, surely, there's a you should wear a prosthetic nose. I think I don't know. It's like not for me, but for you. Come on. Yeah. Like how often do you go up to like someone and then like you like you know you're standing in line at Starbucks and then they look up and they go next and they go whoa I uh, sorry I stood on I stood on <laughs> like, do you have code I don't know I don't know let me yeah, check yeah 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 he goes what time do you close who knows oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> do you have, have you got any uh, cinnamon no strolls oh. No, weird looking face. Is that you on stage? You're just like the corner uh, of your eye, or just oh yeah. And then she goes, she goes "Give me, four, yeah, she's like, give me four lattes, or whatever." And you hand it. Do you need a hand? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Should we, you, oh, you're, you're so brave. You should pat yourself on the back. <laughs>
Yeah, she just, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, yeah, look, that guy's a fake nose. That could be AI, I know, look. That's the last of us. Which, which, which is him? Bef- <laughs> the one on the right? Yeah. That's fucking Voldemort anyway. Whatever. Look, people are born with all sorts of things. I'm just saying, in this day and age, surely a little bit of a fucking, mm-hmm. just have a Groucho Marx thing on. <laughs> That's <what> I'm saying. <laughs> just put on Groucho. a fucking witch, put on a fucking yeah. witch nose. That's like clearly a Halloween costume. Right. And people will be like, good for you. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> Can I get a bump? You're like, uh- <laughs> <laughs> you just you just like slingshot out of her face like a priest just stick fucking it, water. You just stick it in like a fucking like a coin <laughs> in a, a slot stamp. machine. Just just lob it in. Dude. You don't even get a chance. She's like, get off, get off, get in there. That would be the most convenient way to do it. Just <laughs> <laughs> good for her, good for her. Yeah, party on, woman. Yeah, but here's the whole thing. Look, Rihanna's thing. She went out and she did the Bollywood thing. She had she had a thousand people wearing white, and she did this at one point. She didn't do a whole lot. And, but there is a thing of like, yeah, that was a boring, underwhelming performance from a pregnant chick. So it's like, it wasn't impressive. If she had a fucking done a couple of cartwheels mm. and lost a baby, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, an onstage abortion. Genuinely though, genuinely, genuinely, if she lost a baby tomorrow, <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Just in a, like in a sick, dark way. Right. The fact that she was like, I'm not a go out and I'm not a fucking do this. And then it's like, I lost a baby. And then you go, oh, sad, right? Obviously, <laughs> but like, kind of like, yo, fuck you, dude. Yo, <laughs> people lose the baby all the time. You kidding me? Yeah. Fucking Denny workers. You can, you don't think they fucking. <laughs> that, line cook at I'm fucking just, I'm, first of all, I'm tired of women patting themselves on the back for being pregnant. Fuck you, slut. <laughs> it's your own fault for being a whore. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I've worked with back pain. I get it. It's not that hard to have a fucking job. You know what I mean? You're pregnant. I get it. Right. But also then, then you go out and then do a bad fucking job. Mm-hmm. It's like, so what? Mahomes played with a fucking broken ankle. That's more impressive. Oh, they must have shot him up with fucking... Oh, yeah. Uh, that, tranquilizers. That, that halftime thing. Yeah. He must have a couple of different injections. It's like one to kill the pain, one to stiffen up the leg. To sustain it. Yeah. yeah and one for him so they can't hear his fucking brother. <laughs> <laughs> Something that makes his brother invisible to his fucking Yeah, his <laughs> bitch that. wife shut the fuck up. Are they married, are they? Yeah. I always thought that the, the yeah, the wife was like a I like Patrick Mahomes, you know that? Oh, of course. You gotta like Patrick Mahomes. I mean Mahomes. he's 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 a beast, but like fuck him, you know? Yeah, yeah, fuck him. Well, you know, any enemy of my enemy is a friend of mine, so <laughs> fuck the eagles, dude. <laughs> fuck the birds, dude. <laughs> I hate his fucking wife I'm so, so much. glad. There's going to be a lot of sad podcasts this week, folks. There's going to be a lot. Your favorite podcasts are going to be on the other. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but a lot of your favorite podcasters are down in the dumps today, I tell you. I tell you that much. <laughs> two years ago, fucking no one would have known. <laughs> yeah, no one gave a shit two years ago. <laughs> Um, and it's like, yeah. of course, the guest we book this week is from Philly. Mm. That's good. Yeah, so Rihanna came out, did her little thing, you know, whatever. Not that I give, give care too much, too much about it, but it is fun to just trash these guys. Like, they never really quite get it right. They tried to make it big. They never get it right. I, like, here, look, Rihanna, next year, it's always next year, you took the gig. You know, you don't need to, like... Waddle out I'm saying I'm pregnant I can't do much you, They took the right. gig Apparently If I paid her And then she waddled out And that was the show You'd be like Yo come here to me <laughs> <laughs> Come here Come here Body shot <laughs> Pa <laughs> There must be someone Like found out Three months ago But they had already booked her Already signed her up I don't know how much How much does she get paid for that It's not uh, a lot so I was just gonna say It's only like 600,000 They pay it? to perform They pay to perform They pay to perform I can't because it's a commercial It's a commercial And it does like Their brand boost What's like, he advertising Fucking Trojan Yeah Come on Like Justin Timber Like after he did it His album sales went up Like 600% Back when they staged The titty Yeah The yeah. titty stage Nipplegate Nipplegate Yeah yeah, yeah, they pay, sh- and then yeah, and then no, and good. they cover all the production costs too. They'll spend like seventeen to fourteen million dollars on their own thirteen minute set. So I, so I can, I can. That's what. How fun would it be like if the halftime <laughs> show was like um, Kevin Hart came out and did material stand up. That'd be great. That would be great. That's what It'd we need. Way better. We need to get Joe Rogan or someone to like to use his money and go. I'm going to perform on the halftime show, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna tell everybody that. Fucking Pfizer mm-hmm. <laughs> is a fucking scam. 
That's what we need. We actually, I want to hear Ben Shapiro come out and go, and there's actually only two genders. Imagine, like, that's what I want to hear. Because a lot of the ads, a lot of the ads were just like, hey. Brought to you by Pfizer. God. One of the ads was just God. That was the ad. When watching the whole thing, I was like, this is pretty deep for Toyota. It was like a whole, like, God thing. And, yeah. And then it just fin- it just ended with, like, uh, God likes everyone. <laughs> I was just like, all right, bro. <laughs> yeah. I was like, who's paying for this? I do remember watching that and being like, fucking God's on our side. We can't lose. Yeah. <laughs> I said a Hail Mary in the middle of the party. It was, it was you, no. Tommy Pope and fucking Foley were there. Did you see them? I missed that. I was smoking a cig. That's a rerun, though, from like two years ago, I think. Was it? Yeah, that's an old Super Bowl ad. This this, this year wasn't Tommy's like... been in three Super Bowl ads in a, in a row. Yeah, Three years in a row. Now, yeah. yeah, he's been in three Super Bowl ads in a row. And then what about that guy from... You told me that, that guy for the... the um, Oh, yeah. Sam Adams, you, that wasn't that comedian that killed himself. No. There's a comedian that no. killed himself, threw himself out of a train. Remember? Oh um, yeah, yeah. Um, actually in Ohio, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> derailed. <laughs> <laughs> so There's a tanker with, with vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride. <laughs> um, yeah, but I watched it. I was like, oh, that's the guy who killed himself. It looks just like it him. looks exactly Gosh, like, like him. him. Yeah, yeah. Those that Boston Irish idiots are uh, all the same type of guy. Mush the faces together. Yeah. Anyway, it's also Eagles lost. Boohoo. Sorry, folks. What a uh, catastrophically. Uh, is that, This is the guy? This is the guy from the Super Bowl ad. That looks just like the guy who killed himself. Yeah. It really does. It's crazy. Yeah. Um. Anyway, Eagles lost the Super Bowl. Um, I'm sad for the people of. Um, Philadelphia and South Jersey, Jersey, Delaware and Valley, Delaware also. Yeah, I'm sad for the children that got uh, their fucking head put through the drywall by their dad who was out of his head on Yingling. <laughs> Ying. Peronies. Just, just got Yingling bread all over. You. <laughs> oh, please, <laughs> poor mother. <laughs> what do you? How do you think? You're a diehard Eagles fan. You don't have much of an identity outside of sports. Um, classic. <laughs> Classic, <laughs> classic, uh, you know, it's, 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 it, there's not much to live for around that parts, you know, right? It's, it's all sports, you know, you never really hear of anyone like liking movies or anything. It's just sports. Well, we got Rocky, dude. That came out 40 years ago. We don't need movies. We have a Creed now. New Creed. Rocky's not in it. <laughs> He's in it. What do we call it? Black, Black Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. An all we black, have anything, the all dude? black Rocky remake. <laughs> um, yeah, so Creed is out. Rocky's gone. <laughs> um, and then what about the, the game? Where'd you watch it? I was at my girlfriend's friend's house. So yeah, I was a good boy. I, I could have went to the bar with the bros. No. And blacked out, but I tried to enjoy the game. <laughs> but I went to my girlfriend's yeah. friend's house and blacked out. And, and embarrassed her in front of all of her friends. Did you? I bet you were going nuts, too, because they're like probably not really Eagles fans, are they? Do no, they are. We're in the city. They're all, okay. Everyone around there is like yeah. abides by it. Well, look, it was... It was um, just as a random spectator, and I wanted the Eagle, I wanted the Eagles to lose because um, it brings me a lot of joy. Mm-hmm. It brings me a lot of joy because I know so many Eagles fans. It's like, and so many com- comedy fans are now from Philadelphia. Suddenly, um, that is like it's joyous for me to know that they all uh, felt pain. They all just had a shitty day. They all had a shitty fucking day. <laughs> 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 Fuck them. Um, and. I called it too because I was like the Eagles were underdogs the entire fucking season and then right. there were loads of people were fucking betting on the Eagles to win the final game. I go, I don't think don't think it's gonna work out. It just seemed like it was made for the Chiefs from from the jump. I, yeah, you guys had some good calls your way early on I mean, and then, we're, it, we're then it flipped the, it flopped, flipped the other way. I, I did half. think when Pat when Mahomes limped off at halftime I went, that's it, it's over. Yeah. Because yeah. I thought he was gonna come back out. Like was it against the Giants when he fucked himself up? Who was it when he really fucked himself up with the? It was a couple weeks. Might have been the Giants, maybe when he the, and he was injured as fuck, right? It was one of the AFC teams. It was in the playoffs a couple weeks ago. I can't think. Uh, yeah, I don't know who he played against, but he was fucking banged up mm-hmm. bad. He was, played the whole rest of the game. He just played the whole around, game, like, just fucking, handed it off, handed it off like at a peg. But again, if, if a lot of his stuff, he didn't even have much of a running game. Um, this game but yeah the Eagles lost and then of course it was a great game though it was one of the best it, Super Bowls I've it seen it was a fucking good that prick hit the post oh, we were, oh it was wild you, 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 you could oh, hear other oh, houses like screaming oh my god 
I was fucking screaming, going, fuck you, fucking idiot, <laughs> you fucking dope. I was going so mad. And then when um, I think it was the second quarter, Eagles, it's fourth and one. Yeah. On the fucking touchdown Literally, line. yeah. And then at one point, the fucking... Um, the linebacker Just fucking he does an early snap bit, yeah. yeah and i was like you fat idiot you fat idiot how do you do that i don't get me wrong i crumble under pressure too i i, I wouldn't even be there i would cry if i was that guy are you crazy yeah even if i was winning i'd be like oh it's uh, too much <laughs> it's just so too much i can never do it i'm bad at that whenever i have an audition or a competition and comedy and all that stuff yeah a lot of the time it just gets too much for me do you yeah. got like any like, if it's important yeah like do you got like any ritual like you like sneak a couple shots or like you just no nah, like... i try not to do any of that stuff yeah. uh, the only thing you can do is try to make pretend as if it doesn't matter nothing matters you just convince yeah. yourself like fuck it this whatever what, happens happens yeah, yeah it's the only for me but like i'm not i'm certainly i don't have that winner's dna within me where i step <laughs> up to the plate on the big day moments that's mm -hmm. not that's that, not in my family's G DNA. Even as a kid with sports, nothing. No, 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 no. I'd be fucking no good at that <laughs> shit. No. Um, maybe later on in life a little bit, but certainly when I was younger, it was like no, absolutely not. We're gonna tap into that killer instinct. Yeah, I, I actually missed a penalty kick in the in the in the. I don't know if it was the league final or the cup final, but we played a game. PKs. PK. It went the the game went to PK. Yeah, yeah. And then the 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 shot that I missed, the keeper saved. It was the last one. Last one, we lost. Yeah, lost. Yeah. Although uh, we did score a penalty, but it went through the net because like the nets were like you know the, yeah, they the would, children nets. So they it went, would end at the bottom. It went yeah. underneath <laughs> the net and rolled out, and then they were like gone. And we were, we were like, it's good. Do it. <laughs> yeah, but I just, I just, took, then it got too much for me. The thing, uh, I should have buried it, but I fuck. And I was, I used to be great at fucking penalties. Yeah. And then I just, do it, it got up. too much for me. How's it going, buddy? You just leave that anywhere. Yeah. Thanks. Bro. Close the fucking door. What is he thinking? He's walking. What the hell? I don't know why these guys walk in like that so That's much. That's so insane. They do it a lot, though, where they just walk in with these things. Amazon you know I mean? guy literally just walked in the fucking door. <laughs> Amazon guy fucking got Air AirPods and just walked right in. Oh, the he door. also looks like, like as if he walked in and was sucking each other off, and he, and he just left it there, and then he waddles out of the room. What the fuck? It was like get the fuck out. We should just have a sign that says "Leave it on the floor." I've all, never. All, that's never happened. We should have a sign: "All packages left on the floor" or something like that. You know what I mean? At least not. Nah, it's so crazy. Yeah, it's bizarre. But like, listen, at the end of the day, if you're working for Amazon or UPS or anything like that, life ain't been good to you. That's just the way it is. That's the things you gotta have to remember yourself, remind yourself. It's like not. I'm, when I moved here, I remember I used to go to like places like CVS and the, this, they were so bad. The miserable people. They were so bad at working. And this was back when minimum wage used to be like fucking eight dollars an hour right or and i remember just being like like where's this and they go down there somewhere and i'm like what the fuck or you'd be trying to get something served and they're like not serving you're talking to someone else Ugh. and you'd be fucking going are you guys fucking brain dead yeah and then fucking... you find out how much they get paid and you go all right eight dollars an hour i don't think i'd be fucking but then when they start get to complain about wanting like fifteen dollars an hour so you yeah. better know where the fuck the crest toothpaste is <laughs> <laughs> You better learn these aisles, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, I want to do the aisle number and shelf, dude. Yeah, like when you go into Home Depot and they just go, oh, that, oh that's aisle 71. What about this? They go, that's oh, aisle 12. And you go, right. what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Are you <laughs> studying this at night? It's insane to know this man of shit, dude. It's just a retired, like, army corporal whose <laughs> whole life is lumber. They always know stuff. They know everything. They know yeah. every aisle. Like, what are you building? I know, yeah, look, Eagles lost. And they also lost. The Phillies lost in the World Series. Eagles lost the Super Bowl. Called it. And Collie called it. Didn't put any money on it because I, every time I bet on, I lose. So next time you want the Eagles to win, you should make me bet on them to lose. Mm. <laughs> That's just the way the world is. Like, yeah, now nah, fuck you, Collie. Things are going too good for you. Um, yeah, Super Bowl, another season. But you know what? It's uh, it's it's not a young team, so you'll never be back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the youngest team in the league. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, 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 they're all nah, leaving. Nah, they're nah, all leaving. Nah, they're nah. all leaving. Patrick Mahomes. He's, that's a young team. That's a young team. <laughs> you guys, because you, you, they got more whites. 
And then Well, he's more white than Jalen is, so he is more white than Jalen. That's why even in the is. pregame, dude, they were black and black. There wasn't it was that black much black and black crime. Yeah. Black and black. Yeah. There was a whole like this is the first all black. It was a first black on black. First black on black quarterbacks to play in the Super Bowl. And Jalen Hurst. No one scored more than three touchdowns in a in a on the ground. In any Super Bowl, no one scored more yeah. than three. But like and then, running, yeah. I don't think I need to even catch it or whatever. Just really? Just, three is, Someone's had to catch. I don't know. That's what I, no, no, I'm saying no one scored more than three. No, okay. one, no one has ever scored four touchdowns right, in a Super Right, Bowl. right, right. So right. he is the record highest amount of quarterbacks yeah. or whatever. That's uh, crazy. I mean, three touchdowns. Fucking beast. Love that guy. We'll be back. No, you won't. You're done. It's over. All right, you dude. had your shot. You're lucky there's no parade, dude. I mean, I probably would have fucking died there. <laughs> it's probably better for the show. Yeah, see, I'm telling you. This is what the guy said on the right. TV. No, no, that so makes I'm not sense. making this up. This is what he said. So I'm not going to take his word as gospel. Do you know who it was? Probably some just fucking... Jerry Rice has scored McFarlane. the most touchdowns in the Super Bowl with eight touchdowns. See, that's not that's in a career. That's, that's not in a single. Yeah. Whatever. Look, sports is fun. You know, maybe, hopefully, if we're lucky, the um, Flyers will get the Stanley Cup final. They'll lose, too. It's, would you suddenly become, like, a real hockey fan, too, if the Flyers were doing well? Uh, I, I would be on board during the playoffs, but I couldn't fake it and be like... Like, I'd be hype, you know? I'd be watching the games. Like the way I, yeah, like, yeah. I, like the way I watch the games. Like a chick. <laughs> just, right. like, yeah, tune in at the end. Put on I'm your, trying to party. Put on yeah. your jersey and just go, woo! I used to love the Flyers, but they just suck. They're one of those teams that just fucking mush. Hockey's the best fucking... Hockey's the best sport. You don't watch hockey. It's too hard to watch. If it was cheap, I would go regularly. <laughs> no, it's like a hard sport to enjoy watching. Have you ever played hockey? No, of course You've not. never played hockey? No. It's a, it's only really a North American Doesn't thing. exist in... It's Scandinavia. I was going to say, you're right next to some of the greats, dude. No, there's like only one... There's like four fucking ice rinks in Ireland and the UK. There's not a lot of fucking... We're going to get you on some skates. Hmm? Yeah. Get you on some skates. Do yeah. a fucking... We'll Clear. I'll do fucking the figure skating, dude. <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? Yeah, I'm not gonna get out there like uh, a fucking With Tanya Hard, Tanya Hard, fucking. <laughs> I'm not even doing it. Dead serious doing about a it. Spin and heel flick, right? Whatever. Hell yeah! Yeah, and I go yo the rap. <laughs> Imagine if I was a natural. Imagine if I just touched the groove. I just graced the ice. I just fucking. We've never seen anything like oh, it. Oh, skimmed across the fucking ice like <laughs> he's going for the 720. Like Angel Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> the blades like, of glory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could do Fuck that. Fuck yeah. Um, all right, listen, there was a train explosion in Ohio. Let's get some information about this. What's going on? I be- I thought it was a nuclear bomb went off. Um, and the mainstream media, MNS, uh, is it? MSN, yes. M- MSN. The Clinton Edith. News Network. Yeah. <laughs> um, See if we can get something to read about this. There, the catastrophic Ohio train derailment. What were they carrying? Was it nuclear waste? What's going it on? It was called vinyl chloride. Vinyl which chloride is a toxic flammable gas used to produce like PVC piping and like plastic stuff, like vehicle interiors and stuff. Mm. And when it fucking mixes with like the atmosphere and water, it clings onto the water in the atmosphere and causes and like. That bond makes hydrochloric acid. So we, we, we how, which is just fucking everything how did it up. De- how did it derail? Was this a terrorist attack? You know, I um, I once did a show upstate New York somewhere, mm-hmm. and just some random bar. It was up like near Hudson Valley or something like that. And there was a guy from the FBI in, and he was telling me does does a huge FBI um, terrorist yep. group. Or not group, whatever. But like anti terrorist, anti terrorist yeah. Anti-terrorist, yeah. <laughs> around the big water supply. <laughs> Depends right? who you're talking to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, around the water supply because they they say if they po- poison the water supply, all in New York is fucked. So right. that's like a bigger thing. That would be pretty cool terrorist attack, to be honest. We haven't seen that. I've never seen a poisoning other than TikTok mass poisoning, po- po- poisoning your mind. Think about that. Uh, maybe <laughs> Pfizer, Justin, Justin, <laughs> <laughs> blood gas. <laughs> 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 Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's that'd be pretty cool as terrorist attacks go. I think that the hippies planned on like putting acid in there, or so they said, like in the sixties. So you that's know, where that the, all it must have to be so much acid, though, right? Totally. 
Like, it would have to be get, like. But then again, acid's also like you take a fucking micro drop of acid. Oh, they wanted to dose the water supply. Yeah, but a micro drop of acid compared to how much water eventually gets down, it would still have to be a couple of fucking. It yeah, would these, have to be trucks full. You know, these hippies, they're not mathematicians. Yeah, all these crusty <laughs> hips. They don't even know how many girlfriends and wives they have. They're fucking hippies. Yeah. Um, yeah, so tell us what happened here, Fonz, or David. Uh, so, yeah, so there's a train derailment. I was carrying the vinyl chloride gas. If that heats up, there were like probably, I'm assuming there were fire, small fires. If that heats up, it's called the blevy, where it basically just heats up the gas in those tanks and they can expand and explode. So they decided to uh, let off some of the gas because it was either that or an explosion. And uh, they let off some of the gas and it went into the atmosphere and they had to evacuate the whole town. I think it was like 5,000 people or something like that had to be evacuated. It's a small town, but yeah, mm. but the then, picture of it's literally a fucking mushroom cloud. So there's a, I have a video of it. I'll uh, let me bring this up. Uh, so the that's the explosion right there. That's them letting this out, or that was from the initial crash. That was from it ended up exploding, I think. And what's the conspiracy here? What's going on? Because I like from from the people I see on Twitter, what they're saying is. You can't go into the zone. The government, they're arresting journalists. There's something doesn't yeah. make sense. It's not making, it's apparently it's not on the mainstream news. So they, <laughs> they kind of make sense though. It's insane. What it's not sense? getting covered. Oh, they, what they're telling they're like, us. They're not letting them in. It's like, yeah, there's poisonous gas. In yeah, of course. Spot. It's like Chernobyl. <laughs> you know I mean? It's like Chernobyl. They're like, yeah, come on, come on down, yeah. folks. Come on check down, it, folks. Get you. Selling t-shirts and shit. Yeah. yeah. But that's exactly the problem. What? Is that they're just like. Freedom of the press. It's just, it's just letting it go on like it's not a big deal like that's pretty fucked up the water supply Weird. around there yeah like like there's videos of fucking like deers and fucking fish just like piling up in like rivers and shit oh there is and yeah. it's and it's leaking into the ground too while it's simultaneously like going in the atmosphere this is just like a video of like dead fish in a river coming two from miles the- away from the side yeah but that could be just any dead fish pretty much most places you go to in america is just full of dirty dead that fish. is every river and of course new jersey of course. Yeah, yeah. Also, is it, yeah, like, yeah, that's about it. So these fish, we're all gonna be growing fucking extra dicks, dude. We're gonna be the man with two dicks. But they they arrest <laughs> they arrest a report. You want an eight you want an eight inch dick? <laughs> well, I got two four inches. Let, let, let do. <laughs> Take one of mine. How's this going? <laughs> you say the man with two dicks, and why'd you say that? One's up as well. Get ass. Yeah, queer. All right, yeah, I was hoping that was going to be like more of a conspiracy theory that's going on to what's going it's on. It's still in process, yeah. though, but I mean... When the dust is settled, we'll find out what are they keeping from us. It's definitely just like a cover-up. Mm. I don't I mean, I think they just don't want people to die. Or, <laughs> I don't know. Or report on it, for that matter, too. They arrested one reporter. He was, like, not supposed to be in a zone where he was. They have like a safe zone. Yeah, but like, like journal, like journalists on Twitter are getting banned too. Oh really? Yeah, right. you're in deep, dude. I don't know. Mm. Well, well, we'll report back next week when we find figure out more about that, <laughs> or we'll just cut, cut out this entire section from the episode. Maybe who knows what's going on? <laughs> we'll figure it out. You'll know from listening to this <laughs> part of the thing. <laughs> Boys, I'm about to tell you about a product that will help you be better in your relationship. The problem nine out of 10 men agree that their chicks get a little bit dumpy, you know? There's a lot of negative influence out there. Lizzo, Rihanna was just a fat fatty now, you know? The, what's the world coming to? But Athletic Greens has your back, boys. Why take a bunch of different things when you can just mix one scoop of powder and water once a day? I bought Athletic Greens with the intention of losing weight. But to be honest, my girlfriend took it all from me and devoured it after I only had one thing. And she is shredding pounds. Don't get me wrong. She's looking a little light, but I'm going to get it below 80, right? We're going to get it down below 80 so I can actually be proud of what she looks like. Um, I that's, So that's pretty much all you need to know. Every single thing you possibly need mixed into one morning um, scoop and shake alongside your morning coffee, you're going to shred fucking pounds you don't be losing pounds you don't be you could be ripped but also give it to your chick get her looking good get the boys jealous packed with over 75 vitamins and minerals for a major boost to your gut mood energy and even skin and nails if you're looking for an easier way to take supplements athletic greens is giving you a free 
one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. I need this. I need to, I actually genuinely need this. We need to get these on the phone. Go to athleticgreen.com slash column, C-O-L-U-M. That's athleticgreens.com slash column. Check it out. All right, back to the show. Um, all right, there's a, a pancreatic cancer causes Irish, Irish accent. Um, so this is my way of telling you guys that I've got ass cancer. And that's, out, wh- and that's why you're speaking like that. Turns out I've, had, I've turns out got ass cancer the whole time. I thought I was Irish. And, and this time I thought it was a stick that was up your ass. Now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, you should zoom in on, on Fonzie and go, hello, darkness, my old friend. Black and white. <laughs> the black and white zoom in. Let's meme up this motherfucker. You snap your fingers, I just dissolve like Thanos. I'm just like, <laughs> hello, darkness, my old friend. A South Carolina man in his 50s who had prostate cancer developed an uncontrollable Irish accent <laughs> in a very rare and mysterious syndrome. <laughs> What's it called? Paddy syndrome? <laughs> it's, uh, I forget what it's called. The man but- who died several years ago from his cancer <laughs> had no irish background and had never been to the country scroll down there now and see if there's yeah, there's no video oh it's just what say yeah so i was looking for videos of the guy there's no there's no footage of him so um i will find it i'll, I'll get you to find a video soon enough of something else but uh this does you do hear of this type of stuff a lot where people will hit their head type in like a uh, new accent or whatever so yeah. it happens a lot with uh uh, brain trauma and um, surgeries and things like that, or or you know, does a a tumor in your brain? Mm-hmm. That one day you just show up and you go, "Hello, mama." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, I mean, how are we doing today, mama? I'm like, what are you doing? Go, oh, my ass is so sore. I got tumor in my ass. <laughs> you know which one's that I don't know that's usually how the accents come across though is like they you, they go he's got an he's Indian accent mama. they always go he has an Indian accent and you listen to him and so he's just like oh my my head he's like he's got brain trauma he's like just slurring his words and oh they're like nah nah God. he sounds like a retard now he's got Down Syndrome accent he's got the he got a Down Syndrome accent now and he goes to the guy and he just goes oh no <laughs> bum up me brother <laughs> Pow, what I say? Bum the clut. <laughs> There's a Yo. bum in my. I got a clut in my bum. Mama, make me some curly goat. <laughs> we got Jamaican. Curry goat. Curry goat. I said. <laughs> you want the curly goat? Who's this? Phineas Gage. Yeah. So he was uh Phineas. This is like a very famous case. Get shot in the face. He was yeah. He was a railroad foreman in the 1840s. There was an explosion and a railroad spike went through his head. And it changed his personality. I guess it made him angry and often even molested children. I'd be a little testy. I think I'd be a little testy too. I I got a fucking railroad spike through my skull and it made him molest children. Well, yeah, that's one of the things they're saying. I got a a case of the old railroad spike to the head myself. (laughs) (laughs) Your Honor, (laughs) I I used to find kids repulsive. (laughs) Didn't Epstein used to work on the railways? Yeah. uh, (laughs) Yeah. All right, so there you go. So um, so this guy, but wait, what's that got to do with the, the accent? Does his accent change also? Uh, no, not, but this is like his personality changes because change because of head trauma. Oh, but well, there's like certain injuries and stuff. I that, thought he was going to like start speaking Japanese. Yeah. Oh, this is a railroad spike. Oh, this is so hurt in my head. Oh, you <clears throat> little boy so sexy. <laughs> oh, it's so tight. Oh, no. <laughs> I must move west. <laughs> I must more or less these children. I forgot to pay my taxes. Oh no! <laughs> Whale world spike. Whale world. Whale world spike. I can't do the Japanese accent too well. The R's are hard for me oh, to not. He's gonna it, it's just I'm going to molest your children. Oh no, kids! I cannot help it. Um, yeah, he's like, oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just got always angry. <laughs> Why? Oh. I asked for oat milk. I need to come in, mm. child. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, but you've, there's stuff. loads of things like that where they say, you know, they just, people have like this weird head trauma or whatever, and then they just wake up and then they wake up and they have a Spanish accent. Usually, though, it's like, it's not quite the accent. It's not like they just wake up and they're like, 
Euh, bonjour, euh, I'm a French man now. Bonjour, français. Uh, uh, Oulez-vous cocher uh, comme uh, moi? I really want to eat a croissant uh. and not to brush my teeth. And, uh, um, it's usually like they have like a sort of a slurry speech impediment that kind of sounds a little French, you know? That's usually how it kind of works. Isn't there a case where someone like actually started speaking fluently in another language or is that, I've is that heard an old that. wives tale? I've heard that before. That whereas people wake up because the, the, this is the theory on it is that your brain remembers every single thing you've ever done. We just don't necessarily have access to those files. Stores it. In this the- is what they say. So every time you've heard been in a fucking deli and you order a fucking My sandwich dad and, me gay. and the guys there going <laughs> bling the bling the bling bling. you like your brain is picking up all that information right. storing it there but you just don't you can't access it it's blocked out and then when you when you smack your head off a wall because you're drunk you wake up and all that indian stuff has fallen into where your english is it fell into the next room mm. like the the, yeah. the the filing cabinet fell over got it's them all all mixed up yeah yeah <sighs> yeah and then I you a file the, cabinet brain. And then you wake up and it's all like bling long ding dong or whatever. <laughs> bling 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 bling. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happens. But also there's I don't know if you ever heard this theory that when you dream, right? And then you meet strangers. Uh, there's a there's a there's a theory that when you dream and you meet interact with people that strangers, the theory is that you never dream about a new face. It's a face that you have met before, whether you remember it or not. Or even just seen in passing. Exactly. So yeah. the idea, the, the theory that probably some drunk guy told me in a bar is that when you're like, walking down the street, all these people you walk by and you see, your brain is going, remembering all that stuff. Um, but you just can't, don't have access to it. Mm-hmm. You just can't, find, but it's in there. It's in there if you get yes in, with a hammer the difference is is the people who have uh, photographic memories they have like a fucking it's just like they have access to all that we They're just, just don't. autistic as hell yeah so apparently that what you have a dream you dream about someone that you have seen before which means though um that somewhere in your brain there's a filing cabinet full of fat chicks <laughs> <laughs> every fat chick you've ever seen <laughs> there's a filing cabinet in there and I think that's where cancer comes from. Yeah. I think that's that's somewhere. That, that's the tumor in the e- brain. Every time you saw a chick on the beach where you went, yuck, that's in there. Your brain has held on to that information. And through the power of meditation and inception, I need you to remove this memory. I need you to find the fat chick filing cabinet and get rid of it. <laughs> get rid of that. That's not good. We don't need it. I don't ever want to call on that. We got to get that wiped straight out of our brain. <laughs> That's like when you get the chills, it's like you're like remembering a fat girl's face and you shake it off real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just Rihanna. Who was that? Yeah. Was Rihanna, a big fat belly. Yeah. Um, can you see faces in dreams? It may seem that way, but it is impossible. Uh, it is believed that the human brain is incapable of creating a new face. Um, every person you dream of has been someone you have either known personally or merely came across looking through your friend's Facebook photos. See, that's the, this is again, I don't know how much of this is yeah, like who knows? based in reality. It's also like, what a waste of time. Like people that study dreams and all that type of stuff, you kind of go, yo man, uh, maybe work on fucking castrating pedophiles maybe or something. Maybe do something <laughs> actually. Again though, then like, I guess they would go, well, you don't know where this could lead to, you know? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's there's a big question about the lucid dreaming of fucking someone. There's like the morality. Did we bring that up yeah. on this podcast? We talked about podcasts. Yeah, we talked about the morality of lucid dreaming and whether or not you should be able to fuck someone against their will. In a dream. In a dream. And they, and they said it's immoral to do that. And I go, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> does that mean, does it also mean like if I give charity to someone is, cha- is if I donate money to charity in a dream is that a tax write off like wh- at what point are we t- talking about it's not real it's not fucking real let me rape this girl <laughs> no 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 don't clip that no no <laughs> a little bit of e-rape <laughs> Dream <laughs> D-rape. It's like Inception. You got to like spin the dreidel to make yeah. sure if you're getting raped or not. <laughs> she got to play at the rape test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's spinning. <laughs> if it keeps spinning, then it's real. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I just uh, personally, if you can train yourself to do that, I don't, I think it's all fair and love. The problem is, is what happens if you like it too much? What if then she, what if in your dream, she goes, yeah, okay, sure. I'll fuck you. And then you go, Bah. <laughs> 
Nah. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Uh, I'm waking up now. <laughs> Could do that at home. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? You're in a jacuzzi. <laughs> Next thing you know, jacuzzi changes color. Yeah, it's fucking... yeah. We so we should all practice our lucid dreaming and see who can fucking. Maybe I just punch a kid to punch a kid in the face. Maybe that's all you do. <laughs> Imagine that was your thing. Imagine you talk to someone like Elon Musk and like, what's what's going on? What How do, you do you deal do? with stress? He goes, you know what? I do heinous things in my dreams. <laughs> I actually created an AI where I can uh, submerge myself into a world where I can beat up little children. <laughs> I started watching a little bit of that AI porn recently. What's AI porn? Like where you just got not, the goggles no, 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 on? Sorry, sorry. Not AI, AI porn. It's um, animation porn. No. And the like face swapping. The, um, oh, like celebrities? Like fake, de- deep fake? Deep faking. Yeah. yeah. I started watching some deep fake porn recently. Mm-hmm. Um, checking it out. Because there was this. Uh, I don't think we talked about it. There was a streamer. Um, yeah. We, and yeah. He was checking out this uh, the other streamers. I guess curiosity killed a cat, and he was decided to watch these other streamers who had been deep faked into them sucking cock, you know. And then it became like then a lot of these streamers came out crying, going, "Please, uh, you must have my consent." I get it. It's just like I just do. There's a certain element of like get over it, you know. And because people are like, "What if they're?" I said, "All these. What if their parents?" Saw that it's like, well, tell their parents that it's not real. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. And what what the fuck? Same way people go like, oh, you know, how am I supposed to explain to my kids that two men are getting married? You go, yeah, just teach your dumb kid. That's what happens. Tell your parents you didn't suck off four black men in the back of a van. What are you talking you about? You lie to your parents. What are you? Even if it's real. I need to get some dick pics <laughs> sent out onto the internet. <laughs> We're gonna deep fake Holly's Dude, head. We need to make a lot of deep fakes of me sucking off guys at the back of a fucking <laughs> <laughs> fucking truck stop, dude. <laughs> Quickly <laughs> spread the internet with deep fakes so then I was like, no, no, they're all fake. <laughs> but the deep fakes, so I checked it out to see if there was anything good. Nothing really too great, you know what I mean? The technology's not there yet. It's good enough though. It looks definitely real enough. Did you do like A-list celebrities? Yeah, it's mostly, um, it's mostly that girl Jenna Ortega. <laughs> Most, really? Yeah, the one who's like thirty five but looks seventeen. Yeah, she's twenty two and looks twelve. Yeah, um, I like the the photo of her. Just like I don't even, no, I don't even know who this is. She's but. young as hell looking. She's like thirty five. I thought she's not. Nah, she's twenty one or something. Oh, she's 20. only twenty. Yeah, two thousand two. Damn. Post nine eleven. Sexy. Um, yeah, so she looks young as hell. So they they took her. These guys, these artists who work in the deep fake porn industry have taken <laughs> yeah. her face and have strapped it onto like loads of people sucking off cocks. The new titans of industry, um, dude. And the truth is, you know, it's just a lot of guys are kind of pedophiles. So that's like a good thing for them to like watch her suck off someone. Uh, She's but, 20. Yeah, but she she just has very young characteristics. <laughs> big She's eyes. She's pouty face. She looks like one of those brat dolls or whatever, you know, just those big fucked up dolls. Yeah, she looks like one of those, uh, one of those troll dolls almost. If she had her hair spiked up. The she, chins are crazy. Uh, yeah, anyway, so it's mostly her. It's mostly like Emma, um, Harry Potter girl, uh, Emma oh, Watson. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and one she of the still got clout like the that? other ultimate. Yeah, I think that was that was a lot of guys' first pedophilia. Oh my god, that's so that was a true, lot of guys' probably. first pedophilia dreams. Yeah, I think like the Disney adults. That was the first one. Yeah, they were like, I think so. Yeah, and then um, there was one of the Olsen twins' sisters. The other one, Mary Kate. No, or like Ashley. One of the other ones. No, just, Elizabeth. Yeah, I don't know what she's in a movie. She's, she's in a show. She's the superhero woman now. I don't know. I don't watch any of that gay shit. So I am. Um, that's why I'm here. Yeah, we're watching the Green Lantern or some fucking faggot stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, call him. Oh, I didn't even realize that was. Oh. Hey, hey. Oh. Hey. Boo, boo, Earns. What the hell? Stop it. <laughs> Stop. Um, yeah, so I checked it out. But, you know, between that, right? Between the AI, uh, sorry, between the deep fake, deep fake board, deep fake images, which are only going to get better. Between the uh, 3D virtual reality goggles, right? <laughs> and then you got these auto blows. And the pocket plus. Then you've got the AI <laughs> situation where these guys can react to you being like, you know, you're going to be able to eventually get these. Oh, so like live it's simulated got, reactions. Dude, wow. In, in, wow. In 15 years, dude, we're going to just have these horrible porn boots where you can just pay in 
and you strap yourself in, <laughs> right? You strap yourself into this, like, like, and it's probably like a, I would imagine the future would be like a um, flotation tank. Yeah. Because yeah. if you lie down in those flotation tanks long enough, your kind of body goes numb. Yeah, sensory you, deprivation. Yeah, you don't know what part of your body is in the water and outside of the water because it's all the same temperature. Mm-hmm. I'd say there's going to be some kind of tank like that, head thing. Maybe and then you'll probably have your dick in something and your ass so like is getting fired. and then you're just <laughs> just sitting on a butt plug. Yeah, yeah, I'm say so. And then suddenly <laughs> then you're on a date, like a very realistic date with Angelina Jolie. And then at any moment you want, you can just smack her in the head and take it. <laughs> and take it. That's what I think the future is. That's the boys. matrix, dude. I think so. And then maybe they'll have it the, like smell and touch. The thing is, like, is how much of that can you actually really truly touch then? Like, is, I don't know much about the virtual reality stuff, but there must be something where you can actually feels like you're grabbing something. You can trick your brain like that. There's like yeah. these gloves that they must lock. So every time you like sound like fucking Joe Rogan just making up stuff. But like yeah. you like if you reach out to the globe will, the globe will lock so that it feels like you grabbed it right. so that's like, that's you grabbing a titty the the, glo- the gloves can only Very go soft. so far you're squeezing the titty meanwhile you're getting sucked off in this like <laughs> flotation tank <laughs> you're fucking- I'm telling you dude when your dreams will come true there'll be <laughs> there will be a, to, you'll save up ten thousand dollars for an hour in that put, in the comb tank <laughs> Dude, dude I'm I telling bet you, they give them out dude the comb tank is gonna be wild because you could just fuck Anyone in any way <laughs> in your whole life, <laughs> like any person ever, and like then have all a, time, yeah. Or and if you're lonely, just go to the cinema or something. Like why not? You know, let's, let's like, why not? Let's not let's not rule out all the lonely boys out there. <laughs> yeah. Want to just have a good time, right? Dude. Just need a nice date on Valentine's Day, you know. <laughs> and that's what, yeah, it's kind of. I think it's the future is kind. Of, it's kind of almost scary. You do wonder if like, un- unless it's just super, only the elites can do it. You know, the modern person would be like, why would I? If you can every night strap into something like that where you're just like fucking a conquistador. <laughs> like you're actually like properly yeah. doing stuff. You're just like decapitating a fucking uh, Apache. Fucking, yeah. You and your boys just ransack a village. A couple of Vikings pull up the Doing fucking, mushrooms and shit. Yeah. yeah. You, you're just like a 12 year old Viking who's drunk getting fucking ass fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the old viking way the old ass they, fucking they, well listen those those little boys the cabin boys were all just uh, they were just fleshlights to the vikes pirates vikings they all just brought little uh, the visigoths dude the greeks did it too they would oh, rape well, you you yeah, know they would, yeah. they would make them tougher before yeah. war they go if you can walk off a bit of a what? rape that was a they thing they rape their soldiers the young boys it was a training what that's what they said anyway that was a it was a training. <laughs> Make them tough. You can get lumped. Out. You can get lumps knocked out of you by a man, dude. You can. Yeah. You can go fight. Why am I such a you, you can go fight the Turkish. Yeah, for sure. I should be able to fight the Turks, dude. <laughs> what are you telling us? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You go. Let me fight the Turks first, please. I can prove it. I can prove it. I can prove it. I'm a strong boy. Yeah, but that's what they said about like, that's wild. pirates and like you know Christopher Columbus. Once they set sail, they they brought little boys with them, and they brought lemons, so they they, they wouldn't get. Lemons and Salt. condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, look, look. It's only been recently that men stopped fucking kids, really. Do you know? <laughs> I think it's only... I think been the numbers are way up. I think they're down. I think their business is booming. Is it? How do we know? Hollywood. I think, yeah, Hollywood. But I think it was much more common, maybe. I think, I think, it's, I think pedophilia is getting stomped out generationally, slowly but surely getting less. It's never, it's never going to go away. It's too good. It's too attractive. But it will. <laughs> it's too salacious. <laughs> too juicy. Listen, we can never cure it until we get rid of hot children. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's like the you- real. <laughs> <laughs> you want to cure a pedophilia? We got to get rid of these hot, <laughs> hot ch- children. This should have been a pedof- This should have been a Patreon episode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this should have been a Patreon topic for sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't even know how we got into that, but the, I do think the 3D <laughs> porn stuff is kind of scary how much it can. I've never jerked off with an Oculus. Have you? No. Well, I'd like That's to, what I thought you I were wouldn't, saying. I've never. No, I've, I've watched stuff in the Oculus. Oh, really? And I've watched 3D porn like on my phone. Do you you know, know, like the old movie glasses with like the blue and red I just, lenses. I just MacGyvered myself one out of a fucking <laughs> piece of like <laughs> fucking <laughs> painter's tape. Just, I got two toilet paper tubes and like a fucking <laughs> pair of sunglasses over the end of it. 
<laughs> yeah, I went down to uh, was it IMAX, <laughs> yeah, yeah. stole some 3D glasses <laughs> of some nerd coming out of an uh, avatar. <laughs> Give me those. <laughs> um, you can make uh, Oculus at home, like somehow, but like I've I've only done the Oculus like playing a game. But yeah, like I've never and I've watched games. I've watched. 3D porn, like from a from a POV point of view, but I've never put the headset on and checked it out. Um, and I don't know if the auto blows are good. I heard they like they sound like a fucking lawnmower. Like the <laughs> the auto blows, you gotta fucking. And like, you just hear someone next door going. <laughs> Those are the ones that like they like like fucking it's spiral like, liquid looks, on it too, yeah, right? It looks like two fucking. The auto blow is like it, it's like a double decker of this bottle. And then you put it on it, and then it goes, wah, 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 goes up and down. It's like an odd. So you got it. The only the good thing about that would be you can come like doing the crab. I always think <laughs> I always want to come like as like doing the uh, bridge. I want to do the bridge. Yeah, London's falling <laughs> right there. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And, I wanna, and then you just crumble. That's. I think that would be the best orgasm of all time because most people you you fold in. <laughs> the reverse C is what I'm talking about here. So this is the auto blow. It's definitely the guy who invented it. But you apparently you. T- I don't know many guys who actually enjoy any of these things. I'm not though. putting my dick I, in that contraption. I'll tell you that. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> you want to put your penis in that? For sure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what if I, I have a fleshlight at home that I got for free. I did the SDR show, uh, Jay, Jay and um, Ralph's show. And there was a porn star there. She was plugging her bullshit. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, so I took her auto, or not auto, but just a flashlight. It's molded just, to her pussy. It's molded to her pussy. I'd say they, I'd say they take off, shave off a couple of inches. You know, <laughs> you know, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't think. Oh, I think I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we had a porn star came on, and I think there was a competition. Some random guy was there who was absolutely insane, like insane, like he was gonna like a fan. There was a there was a random SC, They had a a flashlight competition. And it was who could la- who could hold the flashlight on their dick the longest was the competition. Like, but you got to fuck a flashlight, right? Kind of, yeah. But the whole idea was just like to just, just to cup just, it on there. Yeah. So, um, we got this guy comes out. He has a beard, and I swear to God, it looks like he lives in a hut in the middle of fucking Arkansas. Ugh. Like he just he's and he's weird looking, and he's biting his lip a lot. Ugh. And the porn star is there, and she's Polish. She's a plus size model, big tubby fucking polish one you know what i mean hell yeah um and the other guy never showed up and and there was a porn star there um black guy called big mo or something big mo big mo i don't know oh <laughs> damn it i thought you might know big no and so big mo's dick won't fit in the thing this guy <laughs> big big mo's dick and i said to him i go i don't think big mo's dick is gonna fit in this and she's like oh uh yeah i think that's him uh <laughs> just google big black cock or whatever <laughs> Uh, D- Dave, focus on the show, will you? <laughs> Dave sounds out. Recipes and gum. Dude. <laughs> Twenty-five minutes later, we. J- d- d- <laughs> Dave, <I> swear, oh. <laughs> just- <laughs> he was lost. He was lost on the rabbit hole, <laughs> Dave. Um, and so the guy can't fit his dick in the thing. The other guy can't get hard, by the way. So he's just like splinting his soft is the, cock. Is and that he, the freak? The freak, yeah. Hard? The freak is there. And he's like looking at the girl's tits and he's trying to do stuff. And he's like, and he's biting. And it doesn't, he don't get hard. So then we just like continue on with the show. Kind of like, well, that segment was bad. His The big guy's dick wouldn't fit in the th- fucking thing. Yeah. The other guy can't get hard. But we decide, and he now he's actually just sitting there and underneath the table, he's like jer- jerking off, trying to get it hard, trying to get hard. And we end up just doing a podcast. And every now and again, we would look over and he's just like, like he's trying his hardest to get oh. hard. And it must have been like 25 minutes. And we're talking about like current affairs. And the whole time there's a guy <laughs> biting his lip, trying to get hard. And he's saying the weirdest, dumbest shit of all time. I'm afraid he's going to shoot everyone. Like whispering and like, to himself. And every now and again you'd talk and then you would just like get a little, like you'd see him in the corner of your eye and you just couldn't stop a laugh because like someone's telling a real story <laughs> or Jay would ask this porn star like, so Poland, what was that like growing up, you know? And then meanwhile, this guy's like this and we're, she's just like, <laughs> so it was very la 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 la, you know? And he's like, I'm fucking so fucking. Yeah. So I got that free flashlight and I've used it a few times, but it's like, it's not better than just using your hand. Right. It's like a good thing to mix it up, but it's like, it's horrible because first of all, you got to clean it up. 
Disgusting. Pop it off. So the inside is a rubber fucking thing, and you can pull it out, and it's just like a rubbery fucking. <laughs> and there's a hole on it, right? A cylinder. There's right? a hole at the end, and there's a hole at the top, and it, yeah, it gets it's thick at the top, and it gets skinny Th- as it goes on. Does it look on. like a pussy, or it's just like on, just it, too on flat. the outside? On the outside, they at least groove looks, some it, plastic. It, it has two lips and a fucking clip that I cut out. Um, Sick. <laughs> got that out of there Circumcision Dude fuck that <laughs> That's you know, a myth <laughs> I flicked it off And said Hello <laughs> To whatever Whatever fucking Vindu or whoever I don't fucking know What religion That's doing that but, You know It was one of the brown ones Anyway So um, <laughs> I don't know It's visual comedy <laughs> Flicked it out the window. Some guy driving on the UPS driver gets a fucking gets a plastic clip to the face. Oh, oh was that a bird? Was that a fly? <laughs> yeah, but then with the way it, tu- it tubes down. So the idea is you come in it, right? And then you put it up. So it's the same size as this. And then you twist off right. the bottom. And it has like a little, like the. It's like a, it's like a dish at the bottom. There's like a dish at the bottom that you twist open. And it's full of cum. Cause like it, it, the cum will drip down. You twist it out, and then you can pour that cum out. You gotta like bang it's, it against the side. It's of the like sink. With, it's like it with a grinder, which catches all the fucking <laughs> thing. Keith, dude, it's it, the Keith it, catcher. Dude, there's a there's a cum keeper right there. It's the Keith friend. catcher for your future it's, Keith. It's dude. telling you. And then and then you gotta pull out the rubber. You gotta wash it out. You gotta do. What it do all. you do? You just like fucking just run. I know you're just running water in it for two just, seconds. That's all you're doing is just yeah, in. you're running water in it. Maybe you know. It's just, I need a dishwasher cycle after that. It's the problem easy. is then you don't want to just leave it there, like sitting drying beside the dishes. Your girl comes home and it's just like a fake condom looking like a newborn rat. Like it's like a, <laughs> a, whatever like the thing. Yeah, it just looks like a dirty, skinless rat. Like sitting in the shower, like, all shriveled yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, it's like one of the rats where the uh, the the, uh, the makeup they tested on it fucking burnt through its fucking fur. <laughs> it's like it's a Rihanna's makeup line. Yeah, but there's also better ones you can get that are like automated. So you press it, and it will, like the beads in it will kind of contract and it'll spin and it goes up and down and all that type of shit. But I don't think they're. I don't think they're. They're not like a, you need like a silencer. It's like, and you go, okay, what's I'm going gonna on? Stick my dick in this. I'm just having a shave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just shaving my balls. So come in here, mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've never, but I don't really know many guys that swear by this stuff. The mechanical part of it, like the fleshlight, I'll, I would like try, like, sure. But like, once it starts going, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be the guy where it's just I robots and like gain sentience and just. I'm telling off. you, in in 25 years, <laughs> the lips close. In 25 years, you're just gonna be like Siri. You know what I like, and then. <laughs> Not the VR car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're like Angelina Jolie, <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lizzo, but fatter. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> yeah, you're just like hogging a bean bag. It's just got holes in it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this the AI stuff is gonna get insane. It's the a, Matrix. That's literally the Matrix. You're gonna yeah. be in a pod, just in water with fucking yeah. feeding tube straps. That you're just coming all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. I, and listen, to be honest, you kind of wonder: Would you take that pill? You know, it's like here. Listen, right, if you take right. a pill and that you think that's your reality, what's the difference? You know, yeah. like it's very Black Mirror type of shit. And there you go. So I don't know anyone. If you guys, if you guys use these things, let me know. Um, you leave reviews for pocket pussies. Let us know if you use any sex toys that are actually whatever. Have you seen the ones where it's like just like a straight? It looks like a dead body because it's just like inflated yeah. ass and then it's just like of a fake back and legs. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, you know what I like? There's actually, I've seen a couple of porn videos which are pretty cool. I like these porn videos where the guy gets tricked into fucking his sister or something. So what you happens love is, these. It's just a fun little, fun, it's, a good it's, a, story. it's just a fun time for it's the boys. So what happens is there's a guy, right? And he has like a fake prosthetic pussy and it's like an ass pussy from behind. Yeah. And then, so he just goes over and starts like fucking it on the bed. And then like the phone rings or something. And so he leaves. And then the sister comes in. She throws that down. She lies down, hides <laughs> underneath like the, the blanket, sheets. Yeah. And she has her fucking pussy hanging out. And then he comes like over, back to fucking my prosthetic pussy. And he's like banging it. And she's just there going, oh yeah. And then next thing she goes, huh? And he goes, what the hell? He goes, <laughs> shut up. Yeah, look at these. Look at these guys. Hysterical. The thing is, they're not done. <laughs> Rainy, we'll talk about Rainy when he comes on. But those fake pussies like that. Is that his thing? No, he he got one for free somewhere, but it was That's small. Sweet. It wasn't like a life-size pussy. It was a small miniature pussy, Ooh. almost like a fucking no. toddler. 
<laughs> you would, you don't get to do that with pussies, by the way, bo folks. There's no bite-sized pussy out there. You get the, you get the fucking <laughs> get extra Little large bites. if you can, dude. Um, yeah, but and it's like so rubbery. But his was like a cheap, shitty one. Whatever. Right. Um, he's like got a smack. Yeah, and, we, and he, and he pulled it. it out on an episode one time, and it was like it was like it was like beside the couch. It was like covered in buttons and hair and all. And like, <laughs> oh my god, it was like glistening from the jizz that dried in on it. Oh it was my nah. god, just had a crusty pussy. Butt. That's legendary. <laughs> like just a crusty pocket he pussy. Just threw it on the table like a corpse. Yeah, and we all started stabbing it with the knife. <laughs> Get it, get it, get it! <laughs> Ran, I scur scurried off underneath the fucking couch. <laughs> um, yeah, but so I, but those type of ones you can get and you see them. I wonder if they're any better. I don't know. I don't know. It seems like so exhausting for me. The fucking and to me, and let me look straight into the camera, zoom in. To me, the pr the, the thing about masturbation is that it's just so it's more relaxing. Like you, when you jerk off, it's not like you finish going like. I'm tired. I'm out of my breath. Like I had to work hard. Like, the whole idea of jerking is like you know the cheat code. Like bang, bang, bang. You're in. You're yeah, out. You're gone. Spots. Bang. Back on. Back to fucking caption. Fucking reels on yeah. Instagram. Hell yeah. Right. You don't. Hell yeah. yeah. But like you're not sitting there. Like I don't want to fucking have my abs sore from fucking a plastic pussy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Getting like an uncomfortable position. You're cl you're clapping cheeks. Dude, you gotta you put a leg up for a fucking <laughs> piece of plastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you keep going to choke her, but she has no neck, so you're just like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> fucking natural reaction. Oh, yeah. Aww. Yeah. And then there's some guys nowadays they buy those fucking what? Google most expensive sex doll. Let's have a look at here. Yeah, there's like real life sex doll. Well, what's her name? Doesn't Whitney Cummings? She has like a twin. Yeah. The problem with that was Whitney Cummings made this sex doll as a joke and then quickly realized that people were more attracted to the sex doll. And uh, then she had to go through this whole like plastic surgery face. <laughs> oh my if God. If you've seen Whitney before the doll and after the doll, there's a lot. Of, <laughs> I can't tell them apart I, now. I think it caused a lot of insecurity. <laughs> oh my God. Um, what was her How name much? again? 15K? Akira. 15K. <laughs> Who's that? Tila Tequila? That's, is that her name? No, that's her no. name. Akira. Akira. Asa, Asa Akira. Asa, Asa Akira. Akira. Yeah, 15K. Tila. Tila Akira. What was her name? Tila, Tila Tequila. That's her. So, it's just a, so that's the sex doll, yeah. But and it's a lookalike of her? Yep, and it's 15K. Hmm. That thing's going to go ex mark. Is that crazy? Yeah. Imagine if you made a lookalike doll and... Of your favorite, like if we got fucking Elsie Hewitt, <laughs> that's a lookalike. Love of the show. It could be. Don't you dare you. bring up Elsie like that. How fucking dare you? Love you, Elsie. Come on the show. And um, we should just like set that as a goal to try to get her on the show. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about food. <laughs> Can I eat so your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> so we follow Elsie Eats. We were wondering. Can we eat your pussy? Oh, how much those tits weigh? <laughs> um. Yeah, so, so so that was the most expensive doll ever. See if you can buy it. Kind of type in sex doll shopping and see what we can buy here and have a look at what exactly how much this mm -hmm. goes. You know what I'm saying? Number one, rate it. <laughs> you get like a used one on Craigslist. Look, three <laughs> three thousand six hundred. That doesn't look real enough to me. But these I, look like posters. Type in minimum. Dude, that's just a mannequin with a dress on it. Yeah, so it's one thirty eight. Probably used. <laughs> Slightly used. That's all right. Wash it out. I don't give a fuck. Like a John Cena over there. I would 100% not give a flying fuck about buying a used sex doll as long as it's like fucking washed. As long as it's power washed. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like one of those. One, one of those. Oh, look at this one there on the left. Real sex doll, realistic love dolls with a huge book. Click on that. The one that, there we go. That's, now we're going. That's a rack. So go in there and see if you can buy this guy. This is the... Well, how tall is One she? One grand. Yeah, she cool. can't be taller. That's than pretty that. cool, actually. That looks lifelike. Five four. You can pick nice. the eye color, the Wait, lifeless eyes. What's five four though? The ass? No, that's not. Oh, Wait, she's standing call. up. Does she stand up or does she not? We can choose different types of vaginas. There, look. Choose yeah. your vagina. Landing choose your enough. vagina. You can choose standing. It's like fucking Street Fighter. <laughs> blink, blink. You're just going through. <laughs> blink. There's just different pussies floating. <laughs> <laughs> locked <laughs> yeah it's like 12 year old pussy locked <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta build the points <laughs> virgin pussy like, please become a senator first so I click on that Pub one pubic hair is an extra $20 <laughs> I'll make my own but wait what's go up go up go on feet there's different types of feet yeah oh standing can, go click really on that one you can't really click on it uh, no, oh no the, the standing one's probably the adjustment that's probably a, got the ankle bone that's an extra there. 20 oh so yeah, so let's go look at the other photos there yeah let's see wait, okay yo gadonk gadonk 
<laughs> Yo, boys, I think I'm about to I'm about to fuck this dog. The face is so scary. Yeah, I think it's like a certain point. I it would be worth it if if you could put yourself Ooh. into a situation where you can fully be lost in the idea that this is a real person could be worth it for you the problem is is i know i'm just fucking a piece of plastic right <laughs> and i don't think i could ever get myself through all the meditation in the world i don't think i could ever be like this is legit right if you do i mean that's that's fucking clinical and that's insane. it you're golden dude <laughs> yeah that's the cheat code and then you like have a, like a little voice box chained in the gun i love i love <laughs> unemployed men no no people who work as suckers yes <laughs> When you play PlayStation, it's so attractive to me. <laughs> it's just serious. Just playing PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joanne, what is the weather? Today's weather is 66. <laughs> Feels like 48. Would you like some head? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to come in my fake ass? <laughs> Would you? And then, there's, and then one, one day it's just like, Carl, have you heard about the Chinese Communist Party? <laughs> Socialism. <laughs> Why not try some Percocet? The two of us get addicted to heroin. <laughs> if we both, you come in, you find me overdosed on the ground and the sex doll's gone. <laughs> Just slowly spreading around the Chinese the spy inside of it the whole time. <laughs> there's, there's a little midget controlling it the whole time. Yeah, yeah. It's two midgets on each other's yeah, shoulders. Yeah, RT, R2-D2. <laughs> yeah, I look, I don't know. That would be funny now if we bought this. I, I would have to fuck it, though. You know, even as a joke, like I couldn't, I couldn't justify spending three grand on a fucking sex doll and not banging. <laughs> Although this is only a thousand, I don't trust that. I don't trust this thousand dollars thing. No, it's gonna show up like missing a fucking pupil or something. <laughs> look over freaky. You sit it next to the guest too. It's also, it's like we do. I know it's obviously been brought up a lot. There's also um, pocket pussies that are just shaped like feet that you fuck. So it's like a pocket pussy. It's just a foot sticking at the end and it has a hole in the foot. And you just, you like, just one you, foot? You just fuck the foot. It's yeah. one foot. You fuck the the ball of our foot. The they didn't even make the, it like the what two do you call, feet. What do you even call that? The arch of our foot? Yeah, whatever that arch, is. Yeah, whatever yeah, that yeah, is. The arch. It's not the arch. It's called like the palm of your foot or whatever. The ball of your heel? Yeah. The. Uh, yeah, you can just fuck someone's foot. Bro, like. that's insane. That looks like and it, looks like it stepped on a piece of glass. Dude, it looks like fucking Jesus' feet. <laughs> it looks like he was just nailed to the fucking crucifix. That's crazy, dude. That is insane. Is that, you reckon, where people get this from? That's a fucking nut. Are these feet kosher? So for people listening, it's just uh, rubber feet, but they have pussies on the sole. Why does it got a fucking it clip? Got <laughs> It's got See, sores. Like, this like is that like that would make sense where you put the feet together. This is like leprosy, like lesions just on their fucking feet. Like yeah. this is this is MS. What's late this? Stage. Oh no! It's a fist that you stuck up your ass, and it's it looks like a foot. It's an anal plug. Oh no! Oh. Is that a bone in the top? No, that's what. You, that's another. It's just look at that thing. <laughs> what the motherfucker? No, fuck? that's like that's a that that's like a stress ball. Dude. That's like a toy in the tub, dude. That's <laughs> like so squirt funny. Water at yeah. Someone. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy meal toy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I like rubber duckies, dude. My dad gave me that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. Um, some people are just into what certain the, things, dude. This is the dark arts, dude. Listen, I can appreciate a foot. Like, I don't. I'm not into feet. I'll suck on some toes and I'll watch some kind of foot porn stuff. But it's like not really. It's sort of just like whatever. Like, you know, I'm not. A, pussy so i'm not gonna be like ooh toes but i'm also less like oh god look at those yeah you know and i, I actually i i'm not really into that and too sick and it's a kind of annoying you know you like wish you had a sex i wish twist I, it. yeah i always said i wanted like a dental hygiene fest uh d dental hygiene um fetish like exclusively just taking dental. place in the dentist or like no like like every time i see a chick flossing her teeth i'm like oh. Oh, i'm bricked up bro i'm bricked up i'm just hanging out in cvs going what are you getting what are you getting fucking you get crusty little dirty. <laughs> now wash. Like, yeah, yeah, now wash. Yeah, use it. Grab that toothpick. Use that man wash. <laughs> There's like all sorts of weird fucking fa uh, fetishes, obviously. You know, does that, that tiny man fetish? Do you ever that? No. Where men want to get shrunk down. To, it's like, honey, I shrunk the kids. So they shrunk. <laughs> honey, they, I shrunk your dick. Yeah, they want to get shrunk down into these tiny little guys. And then these big, <laughs> and then it's like these women that are like Arizona, uh, Amazonian uh. women. They grab them and they stuff them up their clit. It's like Jack they, and the Beanstalk. They stuff them up their slit, right? And then they just walk <laughs> around and you're just in there going, boom. Your osmosis 
Jones and the pussy. Yeah, there's a huge like. And people, pl and there's loads of videos of this like online with anime and all this stuff where it's like tiny man porn or whatever. It just gets, just gets so sucked you, up into the mother. Yeah, it's just a giant, yeah, they, they, there's something about a giant woman that gets them going and you're just this tiny little, and they just, they just pick you up by the collar and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Guys, these people are into weird shit. What the hell? They do say that foot fetish begins as a child. If you grew up in a house where your mother had her feet out, like so while you're like a toddler walking around on your hands and knees and you saw a lot of feet near you, that that's what they look, that's just what I heard. Um my we grew up in a shoes in household. We're not fucking Asian. Um so uh <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't it's like Patreon, right? My girl just starts making us take our shoes off before we go in. It makes sense, but I like, I don't know. I'm, I I'm just used to it. <laughs> I'm used to like doing it. And then what happens is you walk around in your socks, you're gonna stand in something wet. The worst is a wet sock. Kid me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started on blacks. <laughs> That's so funny. The there worst, the worst, the wet sock. <laughs> oh, I can show you something. <laughs> How about a wet back? What? No, bah, Bro, come on, bah, Fonzie. Bah, bah, bah. He I'm, lost I'm, the Super Bowl, folks. Ignore him. Ignore him. I'm still drunk. Did I you can't see what? Did you, see what did you see what? Do you see what Anthony Cumia? Posted the other day on Twitter. No, Did you see that? No, I gotta follow him. Go to Anthony Cumia's. I think it's called Compound Whatever. And look, look, oh, Anthony Cumia. Media, right? Yeah, I think it's called Compound Boss or whatever. And I love Anthony Cumia. He's a very funny guy. Probably the, one of the most talented people I've ever been in a room with in my life. You know, with all of the fucking big people over the years, you know, and uh, that I've got to work with. Cumia is just up there. He's like when he's on, he's on. Ch problem is he drinks a lot. And he did fall into this world of like just, you know, he's got it. You, I don't know if you'll find it. It's called Compound Boss, maybe. Compound Boss? Compound Kumia. Uh, and he just posted something the other day saying, um, I literally hate N-words. Like that, there you go. No, he did <laughs> that, I swear to God, it was like, it, there's a thing about where he, where he, was, he would, post photos of people fighting at the fucking airport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he'd be like, looks like the zoo is on fucking tour again or whatever. Oh, and my God. Now it just got to a point where he's literally just coming out and saying, I do not like him. And I look, I like Kumi a lot. There's just a certain point. And even for me, there's a breaking point when I have to be like, yeah, I can't really like... I want, I, mean, to, I want to do Fallon again. <laughs> I want to get another, I want to get some more free cookies. Yeah, you want to like fucking have a career? But it's also I don't... Yeah. Oh yeah, he's the opening. No, I mean that's just, from 2014. He just must have snapped. Yeah, that's Dude. how he lost his job. No, I don't know what happened, but he posted something the other day, and it was literally. He goes, "I wish I could say this in plain English, but I can't." He goes, "I literally hate effing ants." <laughs> oh and you God, just go, "Dude," and <laughs> you go, "You go." Like? <laughs> oh, retweet. Oh, oh. And I did that, like, the fate, you know, that emoji? Oh, yeah, yikes. <laughs> this, the fucking stretch teeth emoji. Yikes. I don't know. Look, and we wish you well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish him well. It's sad. He's a funny guy, you know what I mean? Um, uh, he's just, you know, he's probably just got, he's got himself into a bit of a... Backed himself into a bit of a corner, maybe, you know? Right wing corner. Yeah, maybe we need to fucking, maybe we need some sort of a him and a black guy learn to tolerate each other like American History X, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. Just a long island. We should rape Anthony Cumia <laughs> so, he, so he finally understands. <laughs> Like in American history, <laughs> I, I I get it. <laughs> You're right, guys. All right, folks. Who's who here? <laughs> it's the only way we can get through to this man is by we tried everything. <laughs> who who's the Mar who's the good Samaritan we need to get to really give the like crack of open? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right, fuck. That must be an. Oh, we are. All right, folks. Um, listen, like we said, um, check me out at columnturl.com for live dates, merch for the podcast, and you can also go off to patreon.com if you want to get extra episodes, um, every week. Follow Fonzie and Dave Caggiano on um social media. Dave Caggiano opened for me um this weekend up in Hartford, Connecticut. It was a great weekend. Thanks for everyone coming out. Um. We're also potentially going to be doing another show up there in a few months. And we're thinking what we'll do is we'll get the boys up, hotel room, drunk as hell, vloggy vlog, baby. Vloggy vlog. Dude, fucking, we'll call it the, 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 
<coughs> the keyboard vlogs or something Whoa. like that. The key, the key, the key, key bumps. The key bump. No, we can't do key bump oh, vlog because that's too on the nose. Oh, on the nose. <laughs> Up the nose. Up the raw. God knows. <laughs> <laughs> it was just God knows. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do something. Some sort of like a, a, a cocaine vlog. And, <laughs> um, some sort of we're going to do cocaine <laughs> vlog. But, you know, we'll jazz it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call it, what are we, w- w- Winter Wonderland vlog. Not Win- bad. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, you know what? You guys come up with some ideas for once. What are you yeah, fucking, what, what, what are you thinking, David? I don't know. It's going to suck, see? Um, all right. <laughs> So if you want to get your questions uh, on the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash Colin Turo, and you can ask uh, whatever questions you want. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, this one comes in from Will Chambers. We got two questions for some reason. Um, can Fonzie please have a conspiracy theory segment every week? I'm going to say no, but Fonzie, what are you thinking there? Yeah, uh, watch my own show for stuff like that. Oh, yeah, where is that? Where can the people get that? Exclusively, it's, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. That's the name of the podcast. Coming soon. It's coming soon. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll release that someday. Yeah. Um. And yeah, we can do it. Maybe sometimes we do it on the Patreon. We'll it, it, a natural. We'll do course. a we'll do a we'll do a segment. We'll create a jingle so that you can have an actual segment right. called Fonzie's a fucking idiot or whatever. Yeah, we'll just do the class. Fonzie believes anything. <laughs> Fonzie, the truth is not the truth. <laughs> the truth is out there. Um. Yeah, but every week's a lot of work, man. You know, you guys, you guys just sit there listening, and you think it's easy, but it's actually it takes a whole lot of work to ramble. It takes a whole lot of work to just meander between subjects. You know what I'm saying? So, so, um, so that's gonna be a maybe. We'll leave that there. But thank you, Will. Let's uh, thanks, Will. Well, let's see. If Shout, we, out, Will. Uh, Shout out, Will. Shout out, Will. Column, is it really as taxing as it appears to be friends with Luis Gomez? I'm intentionally leaving out the J to diss him. Thank you. That's another Will Chambers question. And uh, no, it's not really. Will um Lewis is the man. It might be tough if you see him all the time when you're trying to work with him and get stuff done, but I'm not. We have a very nice r- relationship. Mm-hmm. Show up, we did a podcast. You know, if we go on the road, you know, he's always be- he's, he's just he's always doing something. Lewis, like he's never. He's a workhorse. He's not chill. Well, he has like fucking mental disorders from getting beaten as a child. So he just like can't sit steady. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? He has to keep himself busy because otherwise the darkness takes over. <laughs> so he's constantly just always doing something. Always doing something. Uh, he gets up at the crack of dawn, going for a jog. He's going to saunas. He's fucking. He, he, we, we got in a street race when we were in fucking Rhode Island. He pulled up beside these kids or something, and then they were there, and he went, rawr, rawr, and they went, rawr, rawr, and, then, and then he went, and next thing you know, we both sped off down the road, and we were like, rawr, rawr, and we flew up this way. He, he followed them up a road, and I go, what are we doing? <laughs> He's going to kill them. Lewis, but Lewis, that's like one of the funniest stories ever of going on the road, and out of nowhere, we were just driving, he just decided to get in a street race, mm-hmm. and we fucking fled off through this, through a, <laughs> like through a neighborhood in... Just rural Rhode Island in Prov- Pro- Providence, yeah. and then eventually he was like, "Oh, this is a bit dangerous," so he stopped and pulled back around to go to the hotel. <laughs> and it's like that was like a, just a drop in the amount of stuff. That, like most people, that's like a big story. I got into a street race in Providence. Yeah. Lewis doesn't even remember probably because he, he goes through <laughs> about a hundred things every minute. Yeah, there's just always in the jacuzzi. He's always doing something. That he's rips. Just, yeah, nah, Lewis is the man. Um. All right, so there you go. That was a good question. And then we got one more question. Comes in from Drake. Yo, Drake. Yo, Jersey. You listen to the show? Um, What jelly you be using on them PB and J's? Is that like a lyric? What jelly do you use for your PB and J's? What jelly you be using on them PB and J's? Hey. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't think they're good sandwiches You anyway. don't like peanut butter and jellies? No I don't like American jelly It's nasty It is It's all processed bullshit It's nasty Jelly to us is What you call jam, Like jam Marmalade. Yeah Preserves Mar- Marmalade and jam is a little bit different Yeah yeah But yeah Same bullshit Yeah I don't like that I, I don't even really like I just don't even like when they mix it The two of them together It's something You about, like a peanut butter? When I like I can do peanut butter on toast on its own that's it. That's it. Yeah. And I can do jam on, on like a scone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what the fuck? What? That was so violating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go get a scone, dude? Dude, yo, where do I get some scones? Let's go downstairs and get some scones. <laughs> you can find some in tomorrow. Made them fresh. <laughs> I made them fresh with my own jam. 
<laughs> right here. Right here, Tommy. Yeah, like get close. You go. Mm. You go. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Midnight Circus, folks. Plenty of that. Um, yeah, what jelly will you be using on the beat? I don't know. I don't give a fuck. What a terrible question. Drake, um, horrible question. I don't know if that was like ironic or whatever. And uh, also goes to show how bad the other questions must have been if that was the highlight of the fucking thing. But anyway, yeah, Drake, go cool yourself. That's a terrible question. Will, shout out for good questions. Yo, Will, shout out to you, Will. <laughs> Drake, you're an idiot. <laughs> Fucking dope. Thanks for supporting the podcast. All right, that's the end of the show, right, folks? 